Hi everyone, my name is Cindy Kamak. I'm the Director of Admissions at Peru State College. Today we're going to give you a chance to take a virtual tour of campus with our student ambassadors, who are students that you would normally see when you're on a campus visit. Another thing to know about Peru State is we're conveniently located one hour from Lincoln and one hour from Omaha here in Southeast Nebraska. Enjoy your tour. Hello, I'm Gavin and I'm a current student here. I'm Philip, I'm also a current student here. We're standing outside of the Performing Arts Center. Um, it was originally built in 1921, uh, but obviously, as you can see, it's undergone some renovations. Uh, the first renovation was done in 1969, and then again in 2019. So follow us inside, and we'll show you some more. Now that we're inside and we're on the stage, behind us you see all of our seats that students uh, are able to sit in when they come to the various events. Um, this building's capacity is 630 people as well as above us there are over 200 customizable lights that include spotlights, work lights, and customizable LEDs. We also have an entire room in our back dedicated to a Steinway piano that was donated by a gracious family. We also have different facilities that are available for students and people to come in when they use this building. So our, our other things we use this building for, we have our choir concerts in here, we have band concerts in here, we have our distinguished speaker series that comes in. You have different organizations that are bringing in like a uh, mentalist or a special speaker. Hi, I'm Abby. I'm a biochemistry major and I'm going to be giving you a tour of the Hoyt Science Building. Let's go! This is our chemistry lab. So in here you'll have your general chemistry classes, your uh, molecular biology, analytical chemistry, biochemistry, and organic chemistry. So each lab, there's four desks. Each one is set up, has a sink, has a place to plug in your Bunsen burner, and for each group to work. Usually you work in about groups of two or three, and it also has a fume hood that you can work in. Look who we found. This is one of our chemistry professors, Dr. Nesser, who also teaches our physics class, and he's going to talk about that for a bit. Welcome, this is our physics lab. So here during physics 201, or 101, 201, same class, and then 202, which is physics 2, we utilize this lab space. What's nice about this lab space is that we're able to set up demonstrations that allow us to show Newtonian physics, kinematics, and things like that. Right here we could show how this cart would go pass through a photo gate and then it would be able to measure its, its speed or its velocity and the students then can back calculate what type of speed that is depending on the type of friction that is underneath the track. So, with that, we have the ability to use Bernier Lab Pro techniques and a whole bunch of other types of software and equipment. Hi, I'm Philip, and this is um, Dalzell Hall. This is the All Males dorm behind me. It was built originally in 1939 and renovated in 2017. So let's go inside and see some of the renovations. Welcome to our main room, and here we have a pool table, ping pong table, and a foosball table. Also, we have a entertainment system where you can hook up any of your gaming consoles or your computer. It'll project it onto the wall. You can watch movies or whatever else you want to do. We also have free laundry on, in this building and um, free Wi-Fi. Um, let's go upstairs and check out the room. So this is a normal double occupancy room here in Delta. Um, it comes with two beds, two dressers, and two cats. You can bring a um, refrigerator or a microwave, anything um, that doesn't have an open heat source and could cause a fire. Um, also, people like to loft their beds and put things underneath it so that you can have extra space and store things underneath your bed. The room also comes with a sink and a closet. Hi, I'm Bailey Johnson. I'm a resident assistant here at Peru State College. And behind me, we have Eliza Morgan Hall. It was built in 1929 and renovated in 2012. I'm here in Morgan's laundry room. And as you can see, we have um, four washers for our students and quite a few dryers. And it's really important to note that we have free laundry on campus. Here in Morgan's basement, we have a game room. And in this game room, we have a ping pong table, a pool table, and a foosball table. There is a common area on every floor of Morgan Hall. And over here is one of them. If you follow me, I'll take you to the kitchen here in Morgan. This kitchen is available for all students of Morgan Hall to use. We have a refrigerator with a freezer, an oven, and a microwave for students to use. Hi, my name is Vivian Brown and I'm a junior here at Peru State College. I am an early childhood inclusive major and I'm on the golf team. Welcome to the administration building. This building houses the president's office, which is right up there. 
and it houses other various vice presidents and the admissions office. This building also is home to the business offices, financial aid, and student records. If students have any questions regarding those things, they can go to our CATS building, which houses our one-stop shop. Hi, my name is Panashi Jacha. I'm a student here at Peru State College. And behind me is the library. Oh, hi there. Nice to see you again. Well, let me tell you a little bit about this building. It's been used as a chapel, a gym, an arts and sciences building, a roller rink, and now it's a library. Dog eat your homework? Don't worry. We got you covered with these easy access computers. All you have to do is upload your documents on here and print on that printer. And did I mention that black and white printing is free? Are you studying for the midterms? Why don't you come and use one of our six study rooms located in the building? They are free for all students to use. And if, if you're ever feeling tired, why don't you get yourself some coffee from the roastery? And it's freshly brewed upon order. Welcome to the computer lab, also located in the library. We have 24 computers and a printer in this, in this room. You have access to Microsoft products and online databases. Thank you for going on this brief tour with me. It's been my pleasure to show you around. There are three more levels in this building with more additional resources for students to use. I hope to see you here someday. My name is Justice and I am a senior here at Peru State College. My major is kinesiology and we are standing in front of the Center for Achievement and Transition Services building, also known as CATS. So let's go inside. We are now in the CATS building. In this building we house counseling, academic advising, tutoring, and student success services. We also house our one-stop shop here and that consists of the business office, financial aid, and student records. So the whole idea behind One Stop Shop is that students can get all of their questions answered in one location rather than running from building to building. Hello, my name is Dr. Matt Hill. I'm the director of choirs here at Peru State College and I'm excited to welcome you to the Jindra Fine Arts Building. We're gonna take you on a little bit of a tour to see our choir and band rehearsal facilities. We'll see classroom spaces. We have faculty offices in this building and this gorgeous atrium area, uh, which is a great place to congregate between classes. So let's uh, to go take a look. Welcome to our black box theater. This is a really cool space because all of the seating is modular, so we can be moved around or moved out to accommodate different theater performances, small uh, vocal and instrumental performances. We give general education classrooms in this space sometimes. It's equipped with uh, full theater lighting, a great sound system, projections so that we can do video presentations and slideshows and things for classes like music appreciation. Uh, world music sometimes happens in this space. And then of course, theatrical productions happen here multiple times every year. It's a pretty cool uh, addition to a music building uh, that most other spaces don't have, so we're excited. We are now in the Ginger Choir Room. This is an incredible place to rehearse. The acoustics are fantastic. The seating again is modular with choral risers, a uh, beautiful piano, of course, a mirrored wall behind, which is excellent for rehearsal and for recital classes, uh, studio classes for instrumentalists and singers. Our choral library is housed in this space, so we have quick access to the music that we need for our ensembles. It's also uh, doubles as a classroom space in some instances, uh, sectional space for ensembles and private rehearsal practice room. Gorgeous instrument, gorgeous acoustic, beautiful aesthetic. We hope you're going to come sing with us here. Welcome to the Ginger Fine Arts Band Room. This is a newly remodeled space that accommodates both our concert band and our jazz band. We also have small ensemble rehearsals in this space. Sectionals happen in here. Again, it's another great private rehearsal space as well. Huge ceilings, acoustically treated, acoustic treatments on the walls, instrument storage in the space. Uh, and as you can see behind me, we've just finished a concert, so uh, plenty of room to put instruments away and uh, then hopefully be ready to come back for rehearsal. We hope that you are considering coming and being a part of the band, whether you've played an instrument uh, for years and years or whether you've maybe just picked something up in high school. would love to have you come and participate in our pep band, concert band, jazz band. You can play with our vocal pop ensemble. Uh, reach out to our faculty and find out what opportunities might be here for you. Welcome to the second floor of the Gender Fine Arts Building. We have classroom space up here that accommodates lecture classes in history, English, and math. 
Uh, we also, right beneath us, on this side of the building, uh, have faculty offices for English faculty, math faculty, uh, our theater and, and uh, fine arts director, uh, and then there are offices up here for our history faculty. Um, we would love to have you come and take a, a real tour and, and come to meet our faculty, check out our programs, and feel free to reach out via email. We would love to talk with you about how you might be a fit at Peru State College. Hello, my name is Austin and I'm an admissions coordinator here for the college. Behind me, we have a red schoolhouse, also known as the Welcome and an Interpretive Center. It was originally built and constructed in 1905, but it was moved here to this location in 2002, and all of the money that was used uh, to move that building from its original location to here was donated by uh, friends of the college. It was moved here uh, back in 2002 to kind of pay a tribute to all of the teachers that have trained uh, through the college. Actually, the very first teacher that taught in this building was only 14 years old. Hi, I'm Bailey Johnson. I'm a junior here at Peru State College, and I'm majoring in elementary education. Behind me is my home away from home, TJ Majors. When it was originally built, it was a training school for those who wanted to become teachers to practice their skills teaching K-12 students. But it's now home to our School of Professional Studies and School of Education. Follow me inside. I'm currently in a TJ Majors classroom. I've had a couple classes in this room, such as teaching reading and te teaching mathematics. Behind me are some examples of student bulletin boards that we get to do for classes. If you follow me, we'll go to where the School of Education offices are found. The offices are just right down the hall. And then on the opposite side of the hall is School of Professional Studies. You can see that the offices have been re renovated recently, but they have kept the marble floor to keep with the character of the building. Hello, I am Professor Susan Moore. I teach here at Peru State College. I teach all of the fine arts, so you will have me with drawing one, drawing two, uh, figure drawing, printmaking, painting, and sculpture as well. So now we are in the A.V. Larson Gallery. We have a rotating show. Uh, every month we change out the works that we have in here. Right now, as you can see, we have student artworks from local high schools as well as current Peru State students. We change this out roughly every month, bringing in new artists, artists from nearby areas and artists from afar. That way students get as much diversity of information as possible. Artists that are producing different materials, different subject matters with unique takes. These artists have their work on display as well as having an artist talk to be able to engage with students personally one-on-one. -on -one. Welcome downstairs. This is our painting studio. So second year students are welcome to take painting. After taking drawing one and two, they have a studio space down here. Each student has their own respective space to carve out. Lockers to be able to put their work away in and are easy to work at. Also, each of the studio courses get their own kits. So you don't have to worry about what paints to buy. We already supply you with that and give you high quality artist print materials. Come with me, this is only half of the painting studio. Welcome to the other half of the painting studio. This gives us plenty of room to spread out and work together. Um, the studio is just separated by a couple of lockers, but it is a nice open space. Students are able to work here at all building hours, outside of class time. And if you're here late, we have a break room too. So you're welcome to stay and hang out and take a break in the middle of working. Hi, my name is Ken Curtis and I'm the graphic design professor here at Peru State College. Right now you're in the middle of the graphic design lab, um, better known as the Mac Lab. All the graphic design courses and all the courses that require technical learning are held in this class. In this class, we have 21 Mac computers, all with the, the most recent Adobe Suite programs, from Photoshop to Illustrator to InDesign. The lab is open uh, till 11 o'clock at night most, most days, and it's free for everyone, they're all students to use. The back of the, the room, you'll notice this is where the higher level graphic design students come together. We meet um, twice a week to discuss their projects and um, how they're doing on them. Well, this is the lab. I hope to see you next fall, and uh, thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Justin Nalen, a student here at Peru State College, and behind me here is the All Wheeler Activity Center, known as the AWAC built in 1980 and renovated in 2008. Let's check it out. Down the hall here, we have the athletic offices. 
and the photos on the side of me and behind me are the pictures of the Athletic Hall of Famers here at Purdue State College. Right here, we have the Health Center open to all students. And down this hall right here, we have the training room and we have a lounge welcome to all students. Also on the AYC, we have the Fitness Center. Hours are currently 5.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Also as the, for the weight room, the hours are currently 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and in the evening, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. What we have here in the fitness center is 10 treadmills. We have multiple bikes and a variety of indoor weights. Welcome to the Student Center. Right now we are in the cafeteria and dining hall. 90% of our food is made from scratch. In the Student Center we also house our Cat K, our bookstore, our campus activities board, our student activities director, residence life, and then downstairs we also have our game room and our commuter lounge. We are your admissions team at Peru State College. We hope you enjoyed this tour of our beautiful and historic campus. We can't wait to see you in the near future. Thanks for watching. See, see you, you soon. soon.